So as an alternative, what we can do is we can use some implicit relevance feedback or indirect relevance feedback. So what we can do is we can uh, provide a set of documents. And after that, we can, I mean, the system can actually provide a set of documents, a set of, uh, say, D1 up to D in document, and then observe how the user is actually, uh, I mean, uh, going through the list of documents. Let's say the user, so this is, say, 10 documents are there for a query queue. Let's say the document after this set of 10 relevant document, uh, set of 10 documents are returned to the user. Let's say the user has clicked into this document. Then we understand uh, as an implicit signal, we can understand that this can be relevant. This can be relevant. This, this is actually relevant. We are not saying that. This can be relevant. This has a potential to be relevant because after performing the search from this initial set of relevant uh, in, initial set of documents retrieved, the user is entering into this one, basically this this second blue link. <clears throat> so based on this, we can actually perform some, uh, I mean, setting up this DR and DNR. The click documents will be considered as DR, and the non-click document we can consider as DNR. But still. In that case also, this DNR computation or DNR as a uh, DNR construction can be can be erroneous. It might be the case that the there are say <clears throat> two duplicate documents which are ranked at say DI and DI plus one th space. Let's say the user has entered into this document. We are considering this as NR, uh, so sorry DR, and let's say after that the user is looking at DI plus two this document. So if we consider this as DR also and this as DNR, but they are basically two duplicate documents. In that case, it might be problematic. So considering this, if we form this DNR, it will be uh, it can negatively hamper the the modification of the query. But this is still suitable for web search. The click or time spent on a particular retrieve document can be used as an implicit, uh, pardon my uh, uh, spelling mistake here. This is implicit, I, this would be M. Implicit relevance feedback we can consider uh, in, in, this, in this kind of a scenario. So there is another type of feedback called blind or pseudo relevance feedback. <clears throat> So earlier that we started with the, 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 the relevance feedback discussion that we started with, there the feedback was actually a true feedback or explicit feedback. True feedback means the users were marking the document as relevant and non-relevant. Right. But here for this, I mean, instead of using this true relevance mark, we discussed that we can actually use some implicit signals as well. That is the second type of relevance feedback. And the third type of relevance feedback, which is most popular, is called pseudo relevance feedback. In short, this is called PRF, pseudo relevance feedback, or blind relevance feedback as well. <clears throat> Here, what we do is basically, after performing an initial retrieval, with the query after performing an initial retrieval ir is initial retrieval i am not denoting it as top say m documents considered as relevant and there is no non relevant doc non relevant document said initially that is Let's say after performing the search, we are getting, say, 100 documents. And from that, say, we are considering the top 20 document as pseudo relevant document, as pseudo relevant document. That is, we don't know whether they are 
truly relevant or not we are considering them as pseudo relevant because as some retrieval model some retrieval model is actually retrieving this set of documents in the top rank so based on as the retrieval model is uh, retrieving a document in a top rank we are assuming we are believing on that re retrieval model that they are retrieving a set of relevant document at the top ranks based on that belief we are considering them as pseudo relevant document p r d this is called pseudo relevance feedback so the obvious danger is i hope you can understand if the initial retrieval is poor so let's say after performing the initial retrieval all of these documents are non relevant so that is all the pr prd so for all d belonging to prd uh, basically relevance of d is basically nr it can be the case for this kind of an initially poor retrieval case scenario if we perform the initial retrieval poorly or if the initial retrieval is not that much good it might be the case that the set of prd that we are selecting as the pseudo relevant that can be all containing a set of non relevant documents in that case the feedback can also degrade the performance remember the relevance feedback is used to improve the performance further the after par i mean it is expected that uh, as compared to an initial retrieval a uh, relevance feedback based retrieval would be performing much better but in this kind of a scenario if the initial retrieval is poor the performance will be degrading further i mean rather than improving it will be basically degrading and it will be basically uh, inferior to the baseline retrieval as well so but still uh, in crick most of the groups found uh, this kind of pseudo relevance feedback prf based method on an average they performed quite well for most of the queries so let's consider the rokio's algorithm from from the pseudo relevance feedback scenario note that the way rokio algorithm was defined was from the trf point of view trf is true relevance feedback where we have this dr and we have this dnr based on that we are made modifying the query vector isn't it now in case these true uh, more uh, true labels are not known how can we actually use this kind of a pseudo relevance feedback in case of rokio we can simply perform a retrieval then consider the top k rank documents as relevant dr now which document should be selected as non relevant dnr can someone uh, try to answer this so the top based on the basics of pseudo relevance feedback we can consider the set of set of k rank documents as uh, relevant documents based on the initial retrieval but which document should be selected as a dnr so basically this is something that is not easily feasible in case of rokio's feedback in a pseudo relevance feedback scenario because uh, we cannot as we have said the non relevance can be of multi topical as we have discussed in the last class the i mean given a query say international crime a document related to covid 19 can be a non relevant also a document related to the say the the migration problem in uh, india can also be a, a non relevant document to the query 
so there is no single topic which is relevant uh, which is considered to be non relevant multiple topics are considered as non relevant so selecting a dnr is actually kind of very hard to achieve so practically what we do is we can consider this dr set of k relevant documents as uh, relevant pseudo relevant and we can set the value of gamma to zero in that case we will be modifying the query vector based on only the pseudo relevant documents because there is no easy way to formulate or to uh, approximate the pseudo non relevant document is this is this, this set so practically we can set the value of a gamma to zero